it's always shocking to me when they when these serial killers get caught and you know they have family members they have children they have neighbors and friends and everyone seems to be so surprised is there is there signs or clues that you may be married to a serial killer or you, you know like that people could pick up on or well they're not going to be distinguished from you may be married to somebody who's having an affair <laughs> or a con artist or a rapist they're not going to be distinguished that way because they're pretty good at first of all there's two things going on one is the offender wants to keep their behavior secret so they've worked up a pretty good shield but secondly nobody married to a killer or or the daughter or son or father or mother of a killer wants to believe their relative is a serial killer one of the best books on this subject is Jeffrey Dahmer's father mm. who had numerous things that suggested that his son was not okay. And he was able to explain them all away. And even at one point, he was holding the head of a victim in a box. And, and Jeff managed to persuade him to not open the box because it contained pornography. Oh, that's right. I, think <laughs> I remember seeing yeah. that interview. Yeah, And he did not open the box. So it had to have stink, right? Yeah, you're right. I didn't think um, of that. The and, smell. But that's what happens. It's a cognitive safety net in a way. You can always look at whatever this developing kid, for example, is doing and explain it away as a, a phase. They'll get away from it. Oh, they just like, uh, they're just experimenting with animals because they're going to be a biologist. or they're just experimenting with, with um explosives because they're going to go into the ATF, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. There's always ways to explain why something, some behavior is not a serious aberration. And especially but, okay. if you have an investment in staying married, uh, like you don't have a job and you've got kids and what are you going to do without this person? Um, or that person abuses you anyway, and you've just learned to live with it. And there's so many cases, it's hard to kind of generalize about it, but there are two things always at work, the, the killer and their shield, how they build that. Because Raider went to church and had a job hmm. and you know nothing about him suggested serial killer. And then there's the person who has cognitive ways of reframing any given behavior to be more benign than it really is. Same thing can be said for the development of people into mass murderers. We see, we see much more in the background of a mass murderer than a serial killer. And yet people don't say anything. They don't wanna believe this person really could go into an elementary school and shoot somebody up. 